Hi everyone, Dr. Raj Singh from Las Vegas. I'm an internal medicine physician and a nephrologist. I deal with patients who have kidney problems who are on dialysis and also kidney transplants. I also have a primary care practice at Healer and I'm the medical director at the Red Bee Spa. Just want to talk to you about like you know cannabis and kidney issues. I get a lot of questions because cannabis use is just skyrocketing in the US. Uh, so when I say cannabis, like marijuana, playing the same thing, I prefer using the word cannabis. <clears throat> over marijuana but <clears throat> let's get started so um, first of all like you know if you have kidney disease I mean it's not fun having kidney problems I mean it's not fun having any problems but kidney disease is such a chronic disorder being on dialysis is even harder I mean it's challenging it's overwhelming and I know all my patients are always looking at what else can I do you know what can I do to make me feel better I'm always tired after dialysis or I have a lot of this pain my friend is taking cannabis, can I use it? Would it help? Is, will it cause any problems for me? So I thought, well, I'll make this video to kind of sort of address some of those questions. So first of all, <clears throat> when we call cannabis or marijuana or pot or ganja, one of the most commonly used illicit drug in the US. Now, as most uh, states are also legalizing it, so it's becoming more a recreational drug as well. So it comes from the, the flower bud of uh, the cannabis uh, sativa and indica. Now, there are compounds in this called uh, phytocannabinoids, and they bind to our receptors in, in our body, right, in our brain. So there are two main ones. One is THC, which gives the high, as we know, and the CBD, or cannabidiol, which is primarily non-high, does not cause the psychoactive stuff, but can cause, like, you know, reduce inflammation and uh, pain reduction without getting that high sensation. So this is becoming more popular as well. Now, different cannabis strains have different ratios of uh, THC to CBD, and that's what influences the effects of the body, on, on the body. So when we talk about like you know chronic kidney disease or patients on dialysis, what are some of the symptoms they experience? You know, it's pain, chronic pain, joints ache, nausea is very very common, uh, trouble sleeping, anxiety issues, depression. It's just not fun being on dialysis. The mortality is such high anyway. Now. There are benefits of using cannabis to treat some of these symptoms, you know, pain, nausea, uh, loss of appetite that we know cannabis can certainly help with all of those things. Now, chronic pain, because it's just so prevalent in patients who have kidney problems, I've noted like, you know, based on studies, based on the surveys, up to 50% of patients report some sort of pain uh, with kidney disease or being on dialysis. Now, in the past, we have always used like you know cannabis or cannabis-related products that, as a way to reduce the spasm caused by you know kidney stone, and we know that this can help facilitate the excretion of you know tiny stones because it works as reducing the spasm that's happening in the ureter, so it may help the patient pass that stone rather quickly. Now, when it comes to specifically related to you know can i use cannabis when i have kidney problems or can i use marijuana if i am on dialysis so we don't really know for sure especially in healthy individuals the cannabis does not seem to affect kidney function by itself all right now when you have kidney problems uh, you should use the lowest amount possible right and then you should never smoke uh, marijuana because the lung effect or the lung damage that comes with cannabis use <clears throat> Now, when there are some studies that looked at what happens to the kidney function when somebody's using cannabis. So some studies show that you actually lose your kidney function fairly quickly when actually you are consuming cannabis. But there were other studies that showed actually that there was no change at all. So this is still something of a controversial. We don't know for sure whether this can hurt the kidneys or not. But best to, again, if you're using it, use the low, smallest amount possible. Now, this is just related to cannabis. Now, when I talk about synthetic cannabinoids, you know, those synthetic stuff, the spice, the K2s, those are synthetic agents, and they absolutely are linked to causing kidney problems. And never, never, ever should be used, even by healthy individuals, because a lot of problems with the kidneys, just avoid them. Just say no. Now, <clears throat> what about if uh, somebody is on the list for a kidney transplant or is interested in getting a kidney transplant? What can happen if they consume cannabis? So we do know that cannabis is considered a gateway drug. So there is a concern that if you're using cannabis, you might have other addictions to opiates, alcohol. 
Sometimes it can cause issues with depression. Patients who have anxiety sometimes can have panic disorder or depression can worsen with cannabis. So it can cause some of those problems. Now, many transplant centers, they everyone has their own policies and there are some transplant centers who will may like not consider you for a kidney transplant if you test positive for cannabis. So that is something important to check with your transplant center because uh, you don't want to be on the list and then denied just because of cannabis. Now, <clears throat> direct risk with cannabis and kidney issues, I would say the main one is patients on dialysis, right? So, or patients very advanced kidney dysfunction, already have trouble removing extra fluid from the body. And uh, uh, the lungs are always in a bad shape because of that. Risk of pneumonia is fairly high. So if you're consuming cannabis, we tend to feel thirsty, we tend to drink more liquids, so that can cause problems. The other is that the cannabis smoke is very thick and actually causes damage to the lung, which is very well known. So avoid it, smoking cannabis at all costs when you have issues with your kidneys. Uh, also can make you feel a little bit more sleepy. Patients can have impairment of their memory. So those are all potential issues we see with cannabis, especially on kidney issues, because uh, the kid, if you're not getting adequate amount of dialysis, you could have problems with your memory. You could have trouble remembering things. But sometimes if you're also smoking cannabis, that can also cause similar problems. So it's hard to determine whether you're not getting adequate amount of dialysis. Is this the toxins from uh, the kidney not being able to excrete those from the body? Or is it the effect of actually cannabis which is causing those symptoms? So that makes it more challenging to, right? So definitely uh, avoid smoking cannabis when you have kidney problems. Cannabis can really make you feel thirsty so you can gain a ton of fluid, so which is definitely a problem. The other issue is the phosphorus levels. Now, we always tell our kidney patients, don't consume too much phosphorus. Don't eat processed diet. Same problem with dialysis. Because the phosphorus binds to calcium, can create calcifications, cause blockages, increase risk of stroke. And we know that when we consume cannabis, it, uh, sorry, <laughs> when we consume cannabis or marijuana, it increases our appetite. So we tend to eat whatever is around. So if you are going to do it, uh, or use cannabis, don't smoke, first of all. If you're eating it, gummies or something else, make sure you have healthy food choices around you. Avoid containing foods which are high phosphorus. Uh, so that's sort of the summary uh, that you know, cannabis directly in healthy individuals, we don't think it causes any kidney problems based on the available data. If you have kidney problems or you're on dialysis, use the lowest amount of cannabis possible. Don't smoke cannabis very very important check with your doctor if you can get a kidney transplant if you are positive for cannabis or if, you, if that's something you use that's important have healthy food choices especially the ones that are low in potassium and also low in phosphorus and keep a watch of your fluid intake when you're on dialysis because you don't want to gain too much fluid that can put you in the hospital so that's my summary on cannabis and issues with the kidneys i hope you like the content if you did please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. This is Dr. Rajsing. Bye-bye now.